Hi, this is Steve, V6WZ. I've received a few emails asking about how to build a Magic T, or Zero Degree Hybrid Combiner. In some of my recent videos, I've talked about broadside phased beverage pairs, as well as on echelon staggered pairs. Uh, and in these, we uh, usually use a, a Magic T to combine the two antennas. In this case, I'm uh, showing uh, a broadside phased uh, pair of beverages. You know, they're usually spaced one half to three quarters of a wavelength apart and they're fed with equal length uh, coax to a central point where we combine them uh, in phase. Uh, this diagram has a bit more detail and as I said, each feed line uh, has to be exactly the same length. That is to say, there's no delay uh, so that both uh, beverages are uh, in phase. And here, in fact, I show that we could just connect both feed lines uh, together in parallel, uh, perhaps either hardwired uh, inside uh, a box or uh, maybe uh, using something like this, you know, a, a, a mechanical T uh, connection. Now, of course, if we do this, we put two 75 ohm coaxes in parallel, we're going to end up with 37 and a half ohms of impedance. So we need to uh, step that uh, 37 and a half ohms up uh, to back to the 75 ohm coax to the rig. We do that with a uh, transformer, an impedance match transformer, basically five turns to seven turns. This will work, but the preferred way is to use what's called a, a magic T. The Magic T is another name for a hybrid combiner or splitter. These devices can be used in either function, either as a uh, splitter or a uh, combiner. Here's the schematic of the device. They're really quite simple. It's one, basically one binocular core, some wire, one resistor, and perhaps a box and some connectors. Combiners like this are used in a lot of circuits for combining signals. Uh, most phase combiner boards will use them. They're also used in splitters. I use them in the shack to split and divide my various receive antennas to route them to multiple radios. Uh, the, uh, the real benefit of these devices is they, uh, they have very good port-to-port -port isolation, well, when they're properly terminated. And they also uh, maintain a stable impedance and gain between the ports, even if one of them uh, is mismatched. You know, Tom, W8JI, has some excellent information about the theory behind these guys. You know, just Google W8JI Magic T and you'll like uh, navigate to his page. The transformer is a bifiler wound uh, binocular core made with seven turns of two color of wire. That's about 13 inches through an Amadon uh, 2873 000 202 core. Perhaps at the bottom of the video, I'll include a link to a DigiKey part number. These are the same cores that I use on all of my low band systems for, you know, verticals or beverage matching, uh, impedance matching and things like that. Uh, the resistor value, R1 in this case, is always going to be two times the input impedance of the input ports. In this case, with a 75 ohm uh, design, the resistor is 150 ohms. We could design this as a 70, or rather a 50 ohm uh, system, in which case the resistor would be 100 ohms, obviously. The output impedance will always be one half of the uh, input impedance. No different than paralleling two 75 ohm pieces of coax, it'll end up being half of that. Of course, if we design it as a 50 ohm system, the output will be uh, uh, 25 ohms. Here is a photo of the actual core, which might help make the winding a bit more uh, clear. So here's a diagram with our phased beverages uh, using the Magic T instead of the direct uh, parallel coax feeds as I showed earlier. Now notice that in this schematic and the other one, I'm using an isolated uh, five turn uh, to seven turn uh, impedance matching transformer as I said, to step that 37 and a half ohms back up to 75 ohms. Well, there's another design that uh, will do the same thing uh, using what's called an auto uh, transformer approach. Here's some detail on the matching transformers. At the top is the isolation design. And here on the bottom is the auto transformer uh, architecture. This is the approach I use uh, most since I build either my phase boxes on PCB uh, with low impedance ground planes or I'll house them in a metal box so a common uh, ground is dominant. Both transformers are made with the same type of amidon uh, core that we just talked about. The auto transformer is uh, a total of uh, seven uh, turns with a tap uh, five turns uh, up from a uh, ground. It's pretty easy to build. It's just two colors of wire, one with uh, five turns and one with two turns. 
and uh, you connect the, together, uh, the, the two together to, uh, to, form, uh, to form the tap. In both cases, these are two-to-one transformers, so we'll double any impedance. So obviously, they can be used to transform 25 to 50 ohms uh, uh, as well. Okay, if you guys plan to build any phased array, this is a very important, a possible error that will result in a non-functioning array. Uh, please follow me along here, uh, especially if you use homebrew uh, matchboxes. Uh, so the potential problem uh, involves, uh, let's call it unplanned phase reversal at the beverage feed boxes. Uh, it's kind of an inadvertent oversight, and really it's a very easy error to make. Um, if you're having trouble seeing performance from a phased array, uh, w watch out for this. Um, so um, he, on the top diagram is what we want, okay? On the bottom is wrong. Uh, and perhaps you can see that the polarity of the coaxes have been uh, reversed such that the shield and the center conductor are reversed between these uh, two boxes. These two wires are now 180 degrees out of phase, and this will very much uh, not work on a, a broadside uh, phase pair. Uh, and in this diagram, uh, both the coax feeds are the same and correct, but you'll notice that the beverage wire and the ground wire now are opposite uh, at, it, at each feed box, okay? Well, um, how can this happen? Uh, well, um, here's the thing. This is a photo of one of my early uh, beverage feed box uh, designs, okay? Now, notice the relationship between the coax feed uh, and the antenna and uh, ground terminals. Now, bear in mind, there's no really correct or right or wrong way to connect these. But what's important is that both boxes in a phase system need to be the same. Uh, in fact, this particular connection, as I show, is actually kind of a 180 degree phase shift because of the way this type of transformer works. But, but that doesn't matter. What you do want is both boxes to be uh, the same, all right? So, uh, but in this case, uh, if you've got a box that's unlabeled, uh, it would be very, very easy to connect the ground at one beverage uh, one way, and on the other beverage, you'll have it, uh, have it the opposite way if you're, uh, if you're following me here. So make sure you label your boxes so that all beverages in the array are uh, in the same phase. Um, I label all my boxes, and with my new PCB design, um, uh, you know, they're all the same. Um, Perhaps, uh, if you're using commercial match boxes, uh, they're likely to be labeled correctly. But, but be aware, if you're using match boxes, say, for example, from different vendors or homebrew or mixing homebrew and commercial boxes, check and make sure that you're not ending up with a 180-degree phase shift uh, at, the end, at the beverage itself. If instead of a broadside phased pair, you're uh, building an on echelon staggered end fire beverage array, rather than equal length uh, feed lines to each beverage, the rearward uh, st staggered uh, beverage uh, has a delay line. Um, and this delay line, this extra length of coax, happens to be uh, exactly equal to the uh, staggered distance, in other words, the offset distance, uh, in electrical deg degrees, in other words, in electrical length. Uh, that's, uh, that's your delay. Now, uh, they then go to the combiner. However, this is vital that uh, in the case of the crossfire feed system, which this is, it requires that one of the beverages uh, be flipped uh, 180 uh, degrees. Well, that's easy. It's just like we talked about earlier. We can uh, reverse the beverage wire and the ground wire, um, or, or, in, or we could flip the uh, coax connection uh, anywhere, either at the uh, antenna or in the uh, combiner. This 180 degree phase flip is essential to get the correct phase using the crossfire uh, feed method. Here's a photo of one of my broadside phased beverage pair combiner boxes in the field. I build them in an aluminum box and install them in a small plastic storage bin in the field uh, for, uh, for weather protection. For my broadside pairs, I decided to build this uh, circuit that uses relays uh, to select either of the wires individually or have them phased. This way I can listen on either of the single wires or have them phased. 
uh, this way, if one of the wires is bad, I can also uh, use just one. I can also use my antenna analyzer, which I do, uh, to sweep uh, my beverages to see if there's a down tree or a uh, fault on a specific wire. Obviously, if they're always phased I, uh, together, I wouldn't know which wire has the problem. Uh, you know, the circuit's pretty simple. Uh, you know, there's a plus or minus 12-volt uh, uh, control voltage put on the, uh, on the uh, coax and uh, uh, selects uh, either of the uh, beverages through, uh, through the relays. Uh, when a beverage is deselected, it's uh, sent through a 75-ohm load resistor to uh, maintain the impedance through the uh, combiner. I built it up on KeyCAD and... Um, uh, mounted it in this aluminum box, as I uh, said. If um, if anyone's interested in building one of these, please send me an email, and I can uh, share the PCB files if you'd uh, if you'd like. At V6WZ, I've got uh, 15 uh, beverage wires in the field with uh, six broadside phase pairs. My experience has been that these arrays are truly uh, exceptional receive antennas. If you've got the room, hey, build a broadside array. You honestly won't regret it. 73, this is Steve, V6WZ.